Hello everybody, Monto7 Mods here, and today I will be making my first Minecraft coding tutorial. Um, actually it's my first Minecraft video and all, but it'll be the first coding tutorial, so, uh, two, uh, two, I hit two birds with one stone, you could say, I guess. But to, to start, um, I'm not gonna do the Eclipse install tutorial, because truthfully it was really confusing for me, and if I just, it'll be totally confusing for you if I try and explain it. But into the description, I will link to somebody who is very good at explaining. His name is Henry the Coder. Um, that's his YouTube name. I'm not sure what his real name is. But, so, I'll link to him. In the meantime, I will show you, oh, I'll show you how to do MCP, though, because that's really simple for anyone. First, you'll need to get a uh, 7-zip or WinRAR. I prefer WinRAR. Um, and you'll also need to make a uh, folder. It doesn't, doesn't matter what it's named, you just need to make a folder. Uh, don't mind the bin resources folders just yet. But so, uh, to start, just open, um, to start, you're just gonna download MCP and open your file. Once MCP is downloaded, open it. And click on the top one, hold shift and click on the bottom one, and then just drag and drop into your folder. That should produce most all of these folders. Um, once you've done that, you're done with MCP. And you're now just using this and your folder and your bin resources folder that you get from going into app data percent sign. So sorry, I'll write that out again. App data percent sign backslash dot minecraft that'll take you to here copy and paste your bin and resources folders into this jar folder that is on the desktop here jars actually but so I have them here so I'm just going to copy and paste them in and that should be good now that I'm done that I'm going to run this decompiled batch, batch file um, that's the next thing you're going to need to do so um, it takes a fairly long time so I'm going to come back when I'm finished uh, so see you guys then. Well guys, I'm back and it's finished. Um, there are two things, voice crack, there are two things that you don't, that you don't need to worry about. Missing server jar file aborting, don't worry about that. And updates available, please run MCP, update MCP to get them. Really you don't need to, I don't, so. Uh, just when there's another Minecraft update, but, so do as it says, press any key to continue. Now you should have all these. If you have installed Eclipse by now, you just open Eclipse up, and I messed mine up in the beginning, so hopefully I get an error or something. No, I don't, because it's going to open up my Game Boy. Okay. But I'm going to have to switch workspaces quickly. Uh, what should happen is you guys should get a screen like this when you try to open up uh, Eclipse. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to find your uh, where you put your... Um, uh, your folder, if I can find it right here, open it, um, click this little thing on the side, or you can just double click on, or click on the, uh, logo, or the words, and then click Eclipse and OK. After that, hit OK again on here, and this should open up, um, another Eclipse Indigo thing. Sorry about my, all the voice cracks. I was at a, uh, I was at something yesterday and I was yelling a lot, and my voice is pretty ruined, uh, messed up. So, uh, once you you open this again, there it is. But once you open Eclipse, go and you can get rid of all these side things here. Uh, it's just they're really annoying and they take up space on your thing. Um, you can also here you can hit that button and then just use the this here. It, so when you click on something, or I'll get in, I'll show you later when we can. But so what you're going to do is you're going to go double click on client, double click on source, double click on the bottom package here. You don't need that, it's just there. Double click on the bottom package and uh, click on any one of these um, things. Uh, by the way, if you have ever opened up your, um, if you have ever opened up uh, if you've ever opened up this file 
the minecraft.jar file with WinRAR, um, what you're seeing, all these like biome, gen, base, and whatever, are these .class files just renamed and made so you can read them. If you open this with, a, with text editor, it will just be like, um, at sign, blah, 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 blah. You won't be able to read it. If you can, it'll give you a million dollars. Not really, so don't even try. But, um, so, uh, if you just press G now, it should take you down to in game settings. Settings. Scroll down now until you find GUI in game. Once you double click on this, if you minimize your first package explorer and you're using this button, once you double click on GUI in game, it will go away. So now you have a lot of space to code. But so what we're going to be doing today is not keybinds. So like if you press um, uh, Z, your uh, sneak is going to turn on. Now we're going to just ch put some uh, uh, writing on your screen. So when you open up GUI in game, you'll ha you'll get to this screen here. When once you've done that, you're gonna scroll down until you find this huge block of text right here. If you search for Minecraft 1.2.3, you'll also get to it. So like if I go up here and search Minecraft 1.2.3, it'll just take me right to this line. And what you're gonna and you're gonna go down and t uh, and then this one this uh, close squiggly bracket after gl11 dot pop, gl pop matrix open bracket close bracket colon semicolon you're gonna hit enter type else and um, in and do a open open squiggly bracket that's just this uh, this key. Uh, with shift and once you hit enter it will make a closed one of those as well so you don't have to worry about that but um, what you're going to want to type in here is going to put some text on the top uh, sorry I like to put this in it keeps my clients organized left of screen like so but what you're going to type is font render dot draw string with shadow. By the way, in draw string with shadow, um, the string for the S in string, the W in width, and the S in shadow all need to be capitalized. And uh, this error will go away once I'm done typing. But um, basically, it's just the way it needs to be. There's no real explanation for it. But next, you're going to do open bracket. That'll put the close bracket in. A colon that'll put two colons in, and you type in the middle, and you type on it what you want it to say. I'm going to say tutorial client v1. Uh, no, I'm sorry. And then uh, 1.2.3. I always put this 1.2.3 or the 1.2.3. If it's if it when it was 1.1, I put in 1.1. That's just to tell me what version of Minecraft I'm running. I like it, that's all. Now you're gonna after you're gonna go outside quotes and put comma two comma space two. After all commas you need a space. And then comma space O X F F F F F F is that six two four six. Yeah, and then you go outside the brackets and put semicolon. That will put some text on your screen, but uh, I'm gonna explain it first. So this font render dot draw string with shadow that is a, actually a class. So what that is saying is go into the font renderer class and find the draw string with shadow um, command. So if I go in here and I go draw string with shadow, it should take me right here. It's a public void draw string with shadow. What it does is it um, renders your string so it puts your string on the screen or wherever it's supposed to be and this is the code for it now you aren't going to be uh, messing with this and it actually tells you right here draw the draw draws the specific specified string with a drop shadow yeah um, there's also a draw string so you could do uh, just do this you could do dot draw string but we like with shadow 
because it makes it look just it makes it look nicer, and we're gonna make it look even nicer later. And this just draws a specified string. So that's all really that these do. Um, so and so that's saying go into font render the font render dot Java and find draw the draw string with shadow command. And then the bracket is just there. It's syntax. It's what has to be there. Um, and then the quotes inside of the quotes is whatever the string is. So the string is basically the sentence. If I hadn't explained that, so the string is the sentence, and whatever's inside the quotes becomes the sentence. And the comma here is saying that's ending that part. So whatever it is here is different from what um, does a different thing from what is here. Um, so the two here, the first two is saying draw it on the uh, first, uh, the second pixel down on the y-axis, so the horizontal one going down like this, and the second one is saying on the, the second pixel on the x-axis going across, I mean. And this OXFFFFFFF is the color actually. It's HTML colors. Um, the OX is always there, and then the next six digits are what defines the color. The color. And then the semicolon ends the statement or the command. Um, so now, once you've done that, hit this like green arrow up there. Okay. Let's just make a creative single player word world quick. Also, quickly, if you look down in here, uh, it's pretty funny because it tells you exactly where the stronghold is. Um, but yeah, so now if you were going, if you look up in the top left, we have a white tutorial client 1.2.3. That means what we put here is working, but we're gonna make it look even cooler. We're not just gonna have a drawstring with shadow. We're gonna have a super sick text. Yeah, if you if anyone knows what I'm getting at, feel free to put it in the description. I bet nobody will because it's just so awesome. Um, so now, yeah, if you look up in the top left here, there will be a little um, like shadow of the text there. It looks real nice. Um, if you can see, it's it's easier to see on the light blue of the sky. Like right there, you can see like the black and the gray. Yeah, so we're gonna make it different, but look the real cool. So you're gonna go into your font and render class, and uh, above where it says draw, public void draw, straw string with shadow, you're gonna put public. If I can spell void super sick text. And then you're going to do string s int i int j int k. And then you don't need to put a semicolon there, just hit um, enter the open squiggly bracket. And then in here you're going to put render string ring uh, s i space, so s comma space. I space minus space one comma space j comma, comma space k comma space true. Now go outside the brackets and put a semicolon and render string s comma space i plus one comma space j comma space k comma space true. Out of the bracket semicolon enter render string s comma space i comma space j minus one now comma space k comma space comma space true outside the brackets semicolon now i'm pretty sure this is right except i'm not positive i have this in all my clients so it's render string open bracket s comma space i comma space j space plus one, I'm pretty sure, comma space k, comma space true, outside bracket, comma, and then 
whoops, draw string open bracket s comma space i comma space j comma space k outside the bracket semicolon. Now if, if I did that correctly and we go into your GUI game and change draw string with shadow to super sick text, it should show up a little different and I like this a look a lot better. Um, so let's go up here and I'll actually put down the sound a bit for you guys. I forgot about that. But we're not walking around much and I'll change my time today. If I can get in here. Time set zero. Um, okay. So yeah, if you if you now look up here, it has a sh it has a black outline around all the text, which looks absolutely awesome. I like it a lot more. And uh, I just especially with the lighter colors, like um the color I'm gonna set this text to. Um, die piggy, die piggy. Uh, but whatever. It just it looks a lot better in my opinion. Um, now we're gonna quickly. Uh, just change this color um, to a color that I want it to be and it's I'll put this um, website in the description but it's has all the color codes on it so you're gonna copy and paste one of these these colors on it the OX whatever and just uh, replace the OX FFF whatever with it and then it should change color and this will be the last thing I'm showing you now just because I want to. No, oh, it's gonna be the last thing I'm showing you. Period. Could that stay? But yeah, now it's like a cyan, uh, cyan color. If I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, I love to do this. But um, so yeah, it's like a it's a light blue color there. I like that, and I think that's where we're gonna have to stop, guys. So um. I'll s this has been Mom27Mods. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.